just like um, these bonds here, there's a pair of electrons in that bond. There's a pair here, there's a pair here, and then this is another type of um, electron pair here. It's just that it's not b bound to any other atom. All right, they're just two electrons that are in a cloud sticking off into space um, there. All right, and we represent those as just two dots on the atom. Okay, and it's best represented, you know, it's represented by this shape right here. The reason it's called trigonal is if you look at it um, on its side, the, the, the points of it would make uh, a perfect triangle. But if you look at it um, on end, you notice that everything in there is in one plane. If I took, um, if I had a plane of paper, all right, um, every sing, all the, the bonds and that central atom would all be in that same plane, all right? So that's why it's trigonal. Trigonal because of the triangle shape, planar because everything is in the same, is in the same plane. Correctly. All right, what would happen if you had four things? that we're trying to get as far apart from each other as possible. Okay. So, so far, you know, when I've asked, you know, students, what is the shape that something would assume if four things were trying to get as far away from each other as possible, this is what they usually guess, all right? They just make a perfect square, all right? It's sort of like what, like what the trigonal planar was, except for you got one more group, all right? Um, you can see from the side, it's all... They're all, it's, it's kind of a flat structure, all right? And that's actually not the group, not the shape that allows four groups to get together, or sorry, to get far, as far apart as possible, all right? So the shape that actually allows four groups to be, get as far away um, as possible is this one right here, all right? This is called a tetrahedron, all right? A way that you can think about it is to kind of think about like a, um, a tripod. All right. If you have, if you've ever used a tripod, you know that all three of the legs are spread out as far as you know um, equally from each other, and that the can that the camera sits at the top of those three legs. All right. And if there, you could take a tripod and you could put a pole straight up and down through the top of it. That would be what the shape of a of a tetrahedron is. Okay. Um, okay. So this is ammonia. Um, and the thing is, a, an electron pair is just as much of an um, electron pair as the pairs that are in these bonds here, okay? So you would, count, you would count this as a group just like you would count these guys as a group, okay? So what would the, um, what would the parent shape of an ammonia molecule be, all right? that essentially what you have there is something like this, where you have a parent, that you've got four um, electron pairs that are trying to get away from each other, and the shape that, that they would want to get into is a, um, is a tetrahedron, okay? But remember that not all of these are attached to atoms. The only ones that are, are bonding electrons, things that connect this guy to, to atoms, are the ones that have the white atoms at the end, all right? This guy at the top here, he's just a, he's this lone pair right here, okay? There isn't, there isn't an atom at the top of this. So as far as the geometry of the molecule, all you're concerned with is the position of atoms, all right? So if you take that guy away, you're left with something that looks like this, all right? It really does look like a camera tripod now, all right? So what happens, um, with these shapes is you have your parent shapes, but then you would have, I call them your scene shapes, you know. Another way to think about it is what would the positions of only the atoms be, all right? So we'll see that guy, it would be this guy right here, which is called pyramidal. All right. Okay, let's draw water like this, all right? because this shape right here more closely approximates the real shape of a water molecule. They put these things like that. In, in truth, what, what's happening is, is that one pair would be kind of towards you, one uh, of the lone pairs would be kind of directly behind it, but you can't draw one in front of the other when you're drawing it flat. 
That's one of the atoms. This is just a lone pair. It's sticking, it's like a, sh a, sh a cloud with containing two electrons sticking off into space. Okay, but are there any atoms bound, bonded to the other end of this? Okay, what this is, is it's like, you know, you've got this shell, but it's, there's, there's a, an actual atom at the other end of it, all right? So, the model for, for water, this would be like what water is, okay? You've got four groups, two of them are hydrogen atoms bound to it, two of them are unshared pairs, all right, take the, get these guys off, and you're left with bentri or yeah, bentritonic. Okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna. Uh,